Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it is Friday. So it is a weigh in day. We're gonna talk about my week. I just got back from a mini vacation for my 30 year high school reunion and we're gonna talk about this week's Weight Watchers workshop topic. So if you're excited, give this video a big huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed, your bell notification is turned on because we do a weigh in every Friday and I actually upload five videos every single week. Down in the description box, you will find nutrition coaching. Highly, highly, highly recommend those personalized macros and calories. That is what I follow to lose and maintain my 140 pound weight loss, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for questions, accountability, or to talk with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things and come join our free supportive Facebook group. We would love to have you. So let's talk about my trip, my week, what's kind of been going on, this week's Weight Watchers workshop topic, and my weigh-in. Happy Friday, friends. I hope you had an amazing, amazing week. I had a very good week. I actually have a lot to share with you. If you missed Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day, I did talk in detail about my 30-year high school reunion. We had quite a disaster as part of the reunion, so I talked all about that. I inserted pictures from my reunion, all of that in Wednesday's video. So if you missed it, I will link it down below for you. If you want all the 411, all the details on my trip and my high school reunion. I flew into Spokane late Wednesday. Wednesday night, flew home Saturday morning. So it was a little bit of a whirlwind trip, but overall it was really, really good. And again, all of the details are in Wednesday's video. As always, when I travel, I do not track my food. I will say, however, that I didn't eat very much on my trip. I was so busy, so busy with my mom, so busy with my reunion, seeing friends and family. I mean, we did eat out most of our meals. Actually, did we eat out all of them? We did, we ate out, at, we ate out all of our meals except for one breakfast. Other than that, we ate out. I did have my protein coffee every day, which really helped get in my protein. I did pack snacks, so I was able to have healthy snacks on my trip, healthy snacks at the airport and on the plane, but I certainly didn't eat as much as I even do day to day on my trip, just from being so busy and just so involved and just immersed into everything happening on my trip. So even though I didn't track, I still focused on protein and I made sure that I ate enough, but I didn't eat in a surplus so that I didn't gain weight on my trip. Like I said, I came home on Saturday, so this is the first time that I'm officially weighing in post my trip. Now, I did step on the scale the day after I got home from my trip, and my weight was about the same as it was when I left for my trip. And then on Tuesday, on Tuesday, I started my cycle, which was one day early. I do track my cycle in the Flow app, F-L-O. It's amazing. It's free, and it just helps kind of track your cycle, track your symptoms. So I knew she was coming, and she's here as of Tuesday. So today, I'm about day four four of my cycle. I was pretty miserable the first couple of days, just kind of not feeling my best, a little bit fatigued, a little crampy, just just not feeling my best the first couple of days, but that's kind of started to dissipate now as I've moved more into my cycle. When I came home from my trip, I immediately got right back on track. I will say Troy and I ordered pizza one night for dinner after my trip. Actually, Saturday, the day I got home from my trip, I didn't get home until the afternoon and there was no way I was cooking any dinner. There was no way. And so I did end up, we did end up ordering pizza, but other than that, I got back on track, got back to my workouts. I was at boot camp, I was in the gym, and actually Sunday I am going to hike to Mamak, that mountain that I really like to hike in Tucson with my friend Lisa. So that'll be fun. It'll be an active rest day for me. We'll do that first thing in the morning before I start my meal prep for the week. And I just feel really good, even though I'm on my cycle, just getting back to normal, getting back on track after vacation. Also today is an exciting day. I did go to boot camp this morning and then this a little bit later, Troy and I are heading to Quail Creek where we're moving. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I did a huge life update video last Sunday. I will link that in the description box for you, but we're moving and we're actually going to spend the entire day today in our community. We're getting a tour of all of the amenities. They're treating us to dinner at the restaurant on site. We get to play golf if we want. And then we get to the use of a villa and a golf cart for the day where we can tool around the property on our own after our tour. We want to spend some time going through all the model homes just for ideas because we do start the design process on Monday. I 
can't even believe that we go to design on Monday and it's four full days, nine to five, Monday through Thursday to go through all of the design process. And then the following Monday, we meet with the electrical people to talk about that. It's going to be a very busy but exciting week. And I'm just excited to spend the whole day today on site, just learning more about the amenities. And again, going through the model homes, going back to our property. We really want to figure out exactly what color scheme we want to go with on the outside of our house. We want to spend some time, you know, going through the community, seeing what the finished homes look like with the color schemes. It's going to be a really fun day today and a really exciting week this next week. It's just been really good. It's been really, really good. Lola back here did go to chemo on Tuesday. She finished out the fourth dose of chemo in the third round. So she goes through four rounds total. Each of the rounds has four doses. So she just finished the fourth dose of the third round. So she does have another four doses to go. And she is actually going every two weeks now because she's doing so well, which is so amazing. And so she gets to go every two weeks instead of every week, which is definitely more beneficial for her. She's, it's hard on her body, especially this second go around. She's older and it's a second round of chemotherapy and it's just been harder on her gut, especially. So I'm grateful that she gets to go every two weeks. She killed it again this last Tuesday and she's just doing really well. You know that chemotherapy is stressful for me as her mom. Up and down of emotions, it's extremely, extremely expensive. Every time we go, it's upwards of five to $700, depending on the test that they're doing. And if you missed about a month or so ago, I created a health and nutrition planner. It's a digital planner. It's perpetual. So you can use it day after day, week after week, year after year. I use it every day. I love it. So many of you have reached out and said that you love it. It's under $20 and all of the proceeds of the health and nutrition planner go to little Missy back there who's currently snoring on her dog bed. So it goes to pay for her chemotherapy. We also had to completely revamp her diet. So that cost hundreds of dollars for us to get new food and treats. So all again, all of the proceeds of the planner go to Lola. So thank you so much for your support. If you haven't purchased the planner for yourself, it makes an amazing gift to anybody on a health or weight loss journey. I will link it at the top of the description box. Grab it. And again, thank you for your support. Lola thanks you. She's healthy. She's happy happy because of your support. So thank you again. And I hope you love the health and nutrition planner as much as I do. Life has just been busy, busy, but really good. And I'm just grateful every day for, for what we have, for the opportunities that we're given, for Lola being healthy, for Palmer being as crazy as ever. I'm truly, truly grateful. I'm grateful for each and every one of you. You guys really are the highlight of my day. So thank you. Thank you for watching my videos, using my links, purchasing the nutrition and health planner for Lola, just everything you do to help our family out. I very, very, very much appreciate it. We wouldn't be able to move forward with this home. Lola wouldn't be able to go through chemotherapy without you. So from the bottom of my family's heart, thank you again for your support. Before we jump into my weigh-in post-vacation on my cycle, let's chat about this week's Weight Watchers workshop topic. And it is how to bridge the gap between the things that you want to do and the things that you will do. And this is really important. I mean, we can set all the goals in the world. We can have all the good intentions in the world, but if we don't follow through, then those intentions and those goals kind of fall to the wayside. Have you ever said, I know what to do. I just need to do it. Or are you someone who typically procrastinates? Luckily, I'm very type A. I'm very organized. I'm very committed to things. When I make my mind up about things, I just go full head, full bore into it. But there are a lot of people who are procrastinators and who say this a lot. This is what I want to do. I just need to do it. So I want to share some tips and tricks on how to do just that. Try this. How many steps will it take to achieve your goal? one to two steps or three steps. Break down your goal into smaller goals and focus on one step at a time. Consider the circumstances you'll be in at go time. How will you feel? Will you feel calm, rested, ready, excited? Or will you feel tired, stressed, distracted, or meh? Try modifying your goal to one you realistically want and can do. And then picture any barriers that might get into your way. How will you overcome them? Maybe it's time, food, activity, or just a really busy schedule. And then based on your answers, how confident are you in accomplishing your goal? Maybe you say, I've got this. Yes, you can do it. Now get to it. Or maybe to be honest, it's kind of a toss up. Tweak your goal to help boost your confidence. Or maybe you say, um, not very. Adjust your goal, think small and simple. It's really common to feel excited and super optimistic and super motivated when something new happens, whether that's a new 
goal, a new diet, a new food, a new exercise, but keeping that excitement and that momentum is where we can struggle. Envision your best self working out. Envision your best self eating more zero point foods, low calorie, high protein foods. Envision yourself reaching your goal weight or getting into that smaller size of clothing. And then guess what happens? Life throws you for a loop. You get busy at work. You don't make it to the grocery store. You end up ordering out multiple times a week. And you tell yourself, why can't I follow through? Maybe it's because instead of breaking this big goal into little goals, you're focusing on that big goal. And that big goal is overwhelming and daunting and maybe really, really far down the road in your health and wellness journey. Instead, it's important to break that big goal up into small goals. In my nutrition and health planner, I have a whole section on habits and habit stacking and goals. It's really been beneficial for me to take my long-term goal and break that up into smaller goals. That's what keeps us motivated and that's what keeps us going on this journey. Having these big lofty goals and then losing momentum is very normal. In fact, there's a scientific term for that. It is called intention action gap. The disconnect between what we want to do, our intentions, and what we actually do, our actions. But you can bridge that gap by thinking through those goals from the jump, from the start. Again, breaking big goals into small goals. And guess what? As you reach each of those small goals, eventually, you get to that big goal. Stack the deck in your favor. Make sure that you're setting yourself up for success, not failure. I really like this topic. I think it's really important because each and every one of us always sets out with these lofty goals, but we don't always follow through with those lofty goals. So I like that Weight Watchers broke it down into steps for us and then kind of defined what that action gap is and how to overcome it. I know I'm going to really focus on my small goals, using my health and nutrition planner, stacking my habits to reach my goals. I've done that since the jump on my weight journey and it's really proven successful to me. So I really hope that this week's topic helps you reach your goals. Speaking of goals, let's talk about my weigh-in. So like I said, when I came home from my trip, my weight was about the same. I think it was 0.2 less than it was when I left. And you know that I consider anything under a pound on maintenance. So when I stepped on the scale today, day four of my cycle from returning from a vacation, I am actually down 0.2. So I maintained that little bit of a 0.2 loss this week. I did have a little bit of a gain last week, 0.6. So that that kind of leveled that out and I'm really surprised honestly to be down anything considering I'm on my cycle and I just returned from a vacation. I'd have been happy with a little gain or even a maintain but you know what, point two, we're gonna take it. I do consider that maintenance. Maintenance is not a number, my friends. Maintenance is a range. And I actually have a 10 pound range. So as long as I stay in that 10 pound range, I consider myself maintaining my weight. So the fact that I lose a little bit or gain a little bit, it's still maintenance for me. So I'm thrilled with that. I'm thrilled after vacation. I'm thrilled with being on my cycle to be down point two for the week. So I will go ahead and put up here on the screen how much I have lost total and my current weight. For reference, I am five, Eight. And now I want to hear from you guys. How was your week? How was your weigh in? What are your little goals that you have that lead to your big goal? Let me know everything down below. And if you enjoyed another weigh in, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe, turn your bell on so you never miss a future weigh in or any of the five videos that I upload every week. At the top of the description box, I will have the health and nutrition planner. Thank you again for your support, as well as those videos I talked about nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. And don't forget, come join our free Facebook group. We would love to have you. Happy Friday, friends. Happy weekend. And I will see you in tomorrow's grocery haul. Bye.